As I was taking my electric keyboard downstairs, a door opened at the end of the hall. A frail woman emerged with a colorful scarf tied around her neck. I'm Morpha, darling, your new neighbor. She held out a hand with slender fingers. I just moved in yesterday. Would you like to come in for cocktails and a cigarette? I explained that we played in a band and we were getting ready to leave for a performance. How exciting. Well then, another time. Would you like to come in for a cocktail? Would you like to come in for a cocktail and a cigarette? Would you like to come in for a cocktail? This has got to stop. A few days later, I ran into Morphe in the laundry room. She insisted that I meet her cockatiel, Grazi, so I followed her back to her apartment. He's very affectionate, aren't you, sweetie? She put her mouth close to his head and he nuzzled her lips. Hold out your finger, she commanded. Grazi stepped on. Oh my, he really likes you. As I stood there with Grazi perched on my finger, Morpha complained about her new apartment. Don't you find this building noisy? I hear people going up and down the stairs, doors closing, toilets flushing. The other day someone next door was having a cookout in their backyard, making an awful ruckus. What did you do, I asked. She took a drag on her cigarette. Why? I told them if they were going to make so much noise, at least they should invite me. Grazi let out a squawk. You know, darling, I used to be a model. Years ago in my youth. Would you like a cocktail? Would you like to come in for a cocktail? Would you like to come in for a cocktail and a cigarette? Would you like to come in for a cocktail? above me is so loud that I can hear her talking on the phone, she said. I didn't mention that the girl confided to me she had become terrified of using the bathroom at night because Morpha would pound on the ceiling with a broom handle. I agreed the building's construction was not the best, but everyone was actually pretty quiet. Never any loud music or wild parties. We traded more of the stories with our neighbors, talking in excited whispers in the hallway. We spoke about the night she got turned around while coming upstairs and confusing our apartment with the one down the hall, shouted through the door, This has got to stop! And how the sound of someone on the stairs would draw her out of her apartment, saying, Hello, hello, what's going on? One evening at nine o'clock, coming back from performing at a festival, we were unloading instruments from the car. We could hear music and the sounds of a party from somewhere down the street. Above us, a window was flung open and a voice shrieked. This has got to stop! Would you like to come in for a cocktail? We suggested that she consider moving, but she had signed a lease and, in any event, I doubt that would have solved the problem. How could you turn the world's noises off? And a cigarette. Although we eventually moved away, I imagine she stands there still, shouting at the world. <laughs>